All right, good morning everyone. I just wanted to start off with a little bit of some of the stuff we do in the park here today. We have a lot of few uh, new people starting up, so I thought I'd uh, start at the beginning. One of the things that we first start with is how to hold a stick. Um, maybe a different lot of styles, uh, maybe not, but let me do, tell you what I walk through to get the, the nice good solid grip and to make sure that your hands don't start getting sore. So very simply, um, you need to take your hand out like this. You've got a groove here about in between right underneath the hard part of the hand there, uh, the hard part of the fingers right there on the hand, that's one place, and the other place is gonna be the same distance away from the end of the, the palm on the back end, so it's a little bit diagonal. If you, if you bend your hand just a little bit, there's a cup. That's what you wanna put the stick into, okay? So you put the, the cup, you put the stick in the cup there, and then you wrap around naturally. If you notice, that gives you uh, uh, not a quite a right angle. Okay? If you notice, it gives you not quite right angle. That's good. That's also most natural grip. It's also, if you play tennis or some of the sports with rackets, it's a natural grip like that. If you force it and make it a flat grip and just exactly like a right angle, you're putting a lot of stress on your wrist and you're putting a lot of stress on your gripping fingers and you don't want to do that. You want the stick to be able to, to work for you. Okay, so once you've got that, you got your stick in the groove there, it's nice and relaxed, and you just wrap around naturally. You don't need to crush the stick, okay? Don't crush the stick, don't uh, force it, don't do anything like that. The other thing you'll notice is I don't have a lot of punya. Um, when I was coming up in the 90s, Professor would be very specific that we only have one to two, in two, one to two inches or one to two fingers of punya showing. Um, you'll see here I have just about a finger showing. The reason for that is he would uh, bat me pretty good if I had two fingers. <laughs> so one of the things we do is make sure we have one to two fingers showing. Remember, you're hitting with a punyo sometimes. When you're hitting with a punyo, you're close in. You're in a close range anyway. You don't need a lot of punyo to be able to hit with a punyo because you're not going to penetrate with that punyo. You're going to hit with it, okay? So you just need enough to do the job. Same thing for hooking, okay? For hooking, all you need is enough punyo to do the job. Anything more, and I'm going to rip it out of your hand, or the presser, he would hit it right out of your hand. So just one, try, try it with one, one, uh, one finger's worth of punyo. The other thing you want to think about that is if I have choked up on the stick I've taken away my range okay that's important if you do a lot of sparring or real fighting you that little range of distance there that half a hand is gonna make a big difference so use good range still let yourself have enough plenty to do the job of hooking and striking but don't sacrifice range to, to, to do that one of the things if you do a lot of spinning and you're doing a lot of air work it's gonna be really easy to start choking up on the stick because it makes it easier to control the stick you probably don't want to do that at the cost of range and also effectiveness, okay? When you got a stick grip like this and you're holding it out there and you're letting the stick do the work, that's a lot of power at the end of the stick. If I choke up on that, now I'm taking some of that away, okay? So there's a couple of things to, con uh, to consider there. But basically, try having a short punyo, see what that does for you, see what it costs you and what it doesn't cost you. One last thing on a lot of long punyo, if you do any of these rolling things where you're coming in like this, it's easy to catch yourself on your on your arm and on your sleeves, okay? So if you have a little bit of punyo, you can still come in and hit, but you're not going to catch yourself, okay? Just some thoughts there. So how do you hold a stick? In the groove there. That's the most important thing. Um, if you don't do that, you're going to have a sore hand. You're going to be fighting your stick. You're going to be uh, having a tough time of it. Well, make it easy on yourself. Go right in the nice smooth group there where it's natural, wrap around it naturally, and then tighten it just a little bit. Don't fight it, okay? All right, there's some thoughts for the morning. We're gonna get on with class as soon as the rest of the people show up. Thanks for your time this morning.